Zegni Films generates over 3 billion views every single month and he has the number one shorts channel on YouTube. And you've probably seen his videos. They have these highly animated 3D scenes with super addictive storytelling that will keep you hooked for hours. Now, I've been using AI for quite some time now and it made me curious. Can I make the same animations like ZegD Films with AI? So I did my research and I found out that he has over 50 people working with him and 30 of which are actually 3D animators. And that also explains why he's posting that much. Like he's posting like five videos a day, which is insane. You can also imagine with 50 people working for you, your expenses are quite insane. So I don't have that budget available to me, neither do I have the skills to do 3D animations or write very good scripts. But I do have the skills to use AI. So with just two hours of my time, I managed to make this. American soldiers dropped millions of tiny steel darts from planes. These weren't bombs or bullets. They were simple metal darts, each one smaller than a pencil. But when dropped from 20,000 feet, they became deadly weapons of destruction. Everything you just saw was done using AI. And in this video, I will review exactly how you can make these 3D animations easily with AI, how you can do the voiceover and the scripting. If you want to follow along, I will leave all the tools I mentioned, including all the prompts that I used with all my custom prompt bots in the description down below. Step number one, creating your script. Now, this is something that I admire ZegD Films for because he has some of the most creative and unique scripting ever. And I don't want to like latently copying, but I'm using him as inspiration. So I have this poppy board right here. You don't have to use poppy for this, but for me, it makes things a whole lot easier. So first, what I did is I placed some of his top videos in this board that is used as a transcript for inspiration. Then I used these framework for creating viral hooks and also to create short form content. Then I connected this inside of my poppy chat and I gave it this prompt. So I asked it to make like five different stories that I can use for a YouTube short and it gave me these results. So we have the lazy dog bomb, we have the bone wars fossil sabotage and we have the Carrington event solar storm and a few others. Now I went with this one because I found that one one the most interesting. So I ask it to make me a script based on the structure that I put in. Again, you can find all of my prompts that I shared with you in my document, so I'm not gonna go too much in depth on this. Now it gave me this result. So this is gonna be our script that we're gonna use. And for this video, I will animate the first few sentences. Now that we got our script ready, then it is time to go over to step number two, which is making the animations for our video. Now for the animations, we first need to make our images. For this, I'm using Nano Banana inside of OpenArt. The reason why I'm using OpenArt is because it also has all the video generators that I need for this project. So to make our first image for the animation, we need to first look at our script because it needs to match. Now our hook is as follows. American forces drop millions of tiny steel darts from planes that could pierce a human body from head to toe. So now we need to write a prompt for this line. So I made this ChatGPT prompt bot that will help you make visuals for your scene. All you have to do is you have to type in scene one and then you have to type in your first line of your script. So I copied this first line and now it will write the first prompt for your image. Now if you have a bit more of an idea what you want to do then you want to do it as follows. So then you want to do it like this. You want to say the scene the American soldiers drop millions of tiny steel darts from planes and then you give it the idea. I want a military cargo aircraft flying high above the clouds near a ramp and then it will give you a bit more custom of a prompt that you can use inside of Nano Banana. Now you can copy this prompt and then you bring that over to OpenArt and now you put it in there. For ZegD Films, you wanna go with nine by 16, but since we are using a YouTube video, I'm gonna go by 16 by nine because it's easier for you to show. You generate your scene and I will give you a result like this. So I've done this earlier, the prompt is slightly different, but this is the prompt that I used. So now we have these like soldiers dropping these tiny nails from the plane. I've also upscaled this model so we can see we're using version 2X. If you want to upscale it, you click on 2X or 4X right here, and then you have a higher resolution. Now after that, you download this and now you have your first scene. Keep in mind we're using Kling 2.1 for this 
because you have start and end frame. With that start and end frame, you have way more control over the outcome of your video. So now that we have the first scene, all we have to do is we have to upload this as a reference. So then we upload it right here. And then we give it another prompt, basically describing what we want to see. So we're just saying the barrels are tipped over with countless steel darts spilling out. And now because it is Nano Banana, it does a great job at keeping the image consistent, but it does exactly what you want. As you can see, we now have a second version that is tipping over the barrel. So we have our first frame and then we have our last frame. And we download both of these frames and then we're ready to animate them. Here you click image to video, then you select Kling 2.1 as it has start and end frame. And now you upload your image. So first we're dropping in our first image. This will be our first frame. And then we're dropping in our end frame. Here you want to type in what you want to see. I type this in manually as this gives me better control than using something like ChatGPT. So I'm going to say the aircraft flies steadily forward, propeller spinning fast, and the three soldiers push and tilt the barrels forward and countless of tiny steel darts spill out from the barrels. So that's the exact motion that I want to describe. Now we hit create and now we have a video like this. As you can see, this looks quite good. The next thing for us to do is to make a seamless transition into our next scene. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna download this video. Then on our video, we're gonna watch it. And then we're gonna pick a moment where we wanna use that end frame. So for example, let's use it right here. Then I'm gonna share that image and I'm gonna bring it over to my photos. So I have this downloaded as a photo right now. And then I'm using this photo as my start frame on the next generation. So now we wanna animate these darts falling out of the sky. So I did a bit of research and these were the darts that they used. So I took a screenshot of that and I used that as a reference. So inside of Nano Banana. So I basically dropped in this small screenshot of this dart right there. And then I gave it this prompt. So we have semi-realistic 3D render game engine cutscene style with several metallic darts that are dropping out of the sky. That's basically it and I don't want to have it in Pixar style. So now we click on create and that gave me this image. This looks already pretty good, but I wasn't quite happy with this. So I put this as an image reference and then I just prompted it to say, add more falling pins in the background. So now we have this image right here, which we can be using for our next scene. So I've downloaded this one. Now I go back over to video and here inside of video, we change or start an end frame. So let me just delete these. And now we drop in our first like start frame, which is this image right here. Then we add in our end frame, which are the darts that we used. So that is this image. And then we prompt it to give it a smooth transition. So for this one, I'm prompting it that the camera is following the steel darts as they're falling out of the cargo plane and they have a smooth tracking shot. So now we hit create and that gave us this result. So this looks quite cool. I love how it transitions from the cargo plane to the falling darts. And now we can do the same thing over again for our next scene. Okay, so for our script, we have these first lines. So we already have animated this and then we can animate this. They were simple metal darts, not smaller than a pencil. So for the next scene, I just repeated the same steps. I will just walk you through what I exactly did. So first I made the end scene, which is this one where I compared it to a pencil. Now then I used this inside of Kling with a previous scene and it got me this. So we have the bomb falling out of the sky, then a pencil appears and now we have a comparison. Now I did the same thing for the last scene, which is this one, soldier standing while darts are falling. And then I have them on the ground and now I animated them. And here it is, them getting hit by the bullets. So these are all the scenes that we have generated for this video. It is now time that we put everything together by making a voiceover. So for the voiceover, you can do this inside of OpenArt as they have 11 apps available. However, if you wanna have more options and you got budget available to you, then you can do this directly through 11 Labs because it has more voices. I used this exact voice in 11 Labs and I changed a few of the settings. So I'm using 11 Labs Multilingual V2, then I'm using 98% speed, 35% stability, and I'm using 75% similarity and 6% style exaggeration. So now I enter in my text for my voiceover and here we generate speech. This will sound like this. American soldiers dropped millions of tiny steel darts from planes. These weren't bombs or bullets. They were simple metal darts, each one smaller than a pencil. But when dropped from 20,000 feet, 
they became deadly weapons of destruction. The last part of making our video is the editing. And for this, you can use any editor that you like. You can do CapCut or Premiere Pro. Now, if we take a look at Zach D Films, then we can see that he uses a lot of different zoom ins. So that's the first thing that you wanna do after you've entered in your files. So all I did is I put all the videos in the timeline and then I added in these simple zoom ins to make it look a bit smoother. Now, the next thing I did is I added a few screen shakes to make the transitions go a bit more smoother you can see with zach d films he does the same thing and if you compare these scenes with the before and after you can see with the screen shake it looks a lot smoother now the last thing i added is a bit of color correction in between the transitions because as you can see it is a bit darker here and once i add in the color correction it looks a lot better now all of this is completely optional of course but if you want to have the best videos then you can do a bit more editing the last step that you want to do is add in the sound effects so i found these songs on artlist and i've added them on our timeline again if you are a beginner all you want to do is you want to just connect the clips and maybe add in some music and minor sound effects and that will do the job so all in all after putting everything together this is the result that you will get american soldiers dropped millions Millions of tiny steel darts from planes. These weren't bombs or bullets. They were simple metal darts, each one smaller than a pencil. But when dropped from 20,000 feet, they became deadly weapons of destruction. All the animations are done inside of OpenArt. I will leave the link to that in the description down below if you want to check it out. I will also leave the link to all the tools that I used in this video in the description so you can try it out yourself. Now click the video that's on the screen right now if you want to learn how you can make firm style animations using AI.